Where there is endometriosis, what emotions from the sufferer seem to be seem to be the most prevalent? For example, would you do you see a pattern of these people being incredibly sensitive or sad or um, are they the stresses or are they the worries? Like what's their do you see a pattern? I definitely do see patterns. Um, I would say that there is a lot of stress, anger and frustration, often really common with endo, and then also a lot of grief that I see. Yeah. So, yeah, because, um, you know, there's lots of different reasons why, you know, from more of an emotional perspective. I mean, there is research showing that I believe it was 70-odd percent of women that have endometriosis have experienced a sexual trauma wow which is a really large number Mm -hmm. so that doesn't mean by any means that every single woman that has had that has endo has experienced sexual trauma um but it means that there is a large number so that's I know I always have that in the back of my mind with women that you know what else is going on has there been a traumatic event in their life because we know that significant traumas do do absolutely change the immune system that is like very well established and immune dysfunction plays a really big role in endo because the immune system is allowing something to grow and proliferate that shouldn't be there so there's this there's this mismanagement of the immune system and its surveillance and so it's like what's caused that what's caused this sudden change or this big change in in the immune system in the immune system functioning on this really deep level Mm -hmm. and for a lot of people that can be um that can be traumas, you know, not always sexual traumas. That can be all different types of, you know, traumatic events in childhood. Um, so I think that is something to take into account, especially for practitioners to keep in the back of their minds that, you know, something may have happened to trigger this cascade of events 